Greetings and welcome to Bubble Hearthing. Today we're going to be reviewing the Rogue class cards for the Boomsday Project. Let me scroll down a little bit there. There, the Boomsday Project. There it is. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into all of them. All right. This is the two mana three two lab recruiter battle cry. Shuffle three copies of a friendly minion into your deck. This is as uh, the lead game designer is it Mark Mike Denae. I actually don't remember his first name. Um, unfortunately, this is gang up on legs. How much do we like this? Well, on legs is kind of appropriate considering the pogo hopper is the prime target for this thing. Um, beyond that, this is an anti fatigue sort of thing there, which is nice. You already had that in Kingsbane, which sees very little play these days, um, but it's still a card. Um, beyond that, I don't think this is going to see too much play aside from maybe a pogo hopper deck. And is Pogo Hopper going to be good? Mm, I don't want to say yes. I don't want to. I don't think so. But a two mana three two is okay. Maybe there's a minion that you really need. I could see this being good in some little situations. Could contradict what I just said a second ago. But I really don't think it's going to be great. Um, I'm going to say no. Let's know that card. Next up, three mana Violet Haze. Add two random death rattle cards to your hand. Notably, they are death rattle cards, not death rattle minions. Meaning you can get King's Bane out of it, or you can get the. Ah, what's it called? Um, I forget exactly what it's called, but it's the rogue weapon coming up here. And naturally, of course, you can get minions. I don't like this card at all. In the case to get King's Bane, you should be running King's Bane. You shouldn't really need two King's Banes. I don't think the rogue weapon coming out in this set is particularly good. And. There's already the one mana journey below where you discover a death rattle card. And getting two random ones I feel is worse than discovering one, you know, picking one out of three. So I do not like this card at all. Five mana, Crazed Alchemist. It's a four four minion. Combo giver from the minion plus four attack. Plus four attack is a lot of attack. You're getting you have to combo it somehow, but let's just consider that's gonna be easy to do, because really rogues gonna have a hard time comboing things. You're getting a 4-4 body, and then essentially a blessing of kings, because you're probably going to go face with this thing, with um, whatever you buff. That's really good. I like that a lot. Um, will we see this in sort of a tempo road deck? I think we could. Honestly, I think that plus 4 attack, and it's a permanent plus 4 attack, not just a temporary plus 4 attack. I think this card could see some play. I really do. Even though it's very simple. Maybe I'm just thinking back to when Dark Iron Dwarf was considered overpowered, because... It was a 4-4 four, for four, 4, and it gave something plus 2 attack permanently, and then they nerfed it down to 4-4 four, for four, 4, <laughs> gave it something plus 2 attack this turn, and now, obviously, that's super weak, but I think this could be good. A 4 mana, 2-4, Blight Nozzle Crawler. Death Rattle, summon a 1-1 one, one Ooze with Poisonous and Rush, and for whatever reason in this album, they decided to put that one here, so there you go. Note this is not collectible. I'm not reviewing this as a card. There's no little gem there. But this is, just happens to be what you got off of this thing. No elemental, no tribal, anything. Very straightforward. So, do we like this card? No. We do not. Why? It doesn't have taunt. I mean, do you want it to have taunt? No. So, what you want is to have this thing trigger on your turn. Because if your opponent triggers it on their turn, they can probably pick off a 1-1. One, one. Even though, you know, if they're playing just big minions, then okay, it could have some value. But if they're playing any sort of mid-range minions, if they have any way to deal one damage, then your little dude is going bye-bye. And a 4-mana 2-4 two four is bad. Even though there are some ways to trigger this death rattle, where you manage to summon a little 1-1 one, one dude and go out there, I think it's too much work to get this effect to go off. And you're playing this card still sometimes. I don't like it at all. And there's the guy again. Hello. Pogo Hopper. So we talked about this one, the very first one, the Lab Recruiter. Um, hmm. Well... It's a 2 mana 1-1. One, one. Bad, but let's get into it. Battle Cry gained plus 2, plus 2 for each other Pogo Hopper you played this game. If you're playing Pogo Hopper, you're definitely playing it with Lab Recruiter. Because even if you get all the bounces, the Shadow Steps and Gadgets and Ferryman is not actually a card anymore. Okay, my bad there. Is it? I think it's out of standard. Yeah, because it was a Mean Streets. It's gone. Um... What else do we have there? Obviously, we have Vanish, and you can't sap your own minion, so that's not an option. Um, but yeah, there's not really... I mean, if you played this with, like, the Shadow Song or whatever it was, where minions that you die, that die on your turn um, come back as a one mana, like, 1-1 one, one in your hand, 
if you can do that, that could be kind of crazy. Just keep killing it and going until you can't die anymore. This is notably considered to be like the rogues only version of Jade Idol, or just the Jades. Um, how it keeps growing each time you play another one. Is this going to be good for a deck? I don't really think so. I mean, you're going to need to be able to keep drawing the cards. If you can have consistent card draw, which is going to be hampered by the fact that you want to run this with Lab Recruiter, which means that you're filling your deck with more of these and less card draw, then you're going to play maybe... Okay, you're going to play 1-1, one, one, then a 3-3 three, three for 2. Obviously, 1-1 one, one for 2 is terrible. 3-3 three, three for 2 is good. Yeah, definitely. A 5-5 five, five for 2 is insane, and beyond that, it's super insane. But what can you reliably say is going to stick to the board? I think on 7-7, seven, seven, it might stick around, and then 9-9, nine, nine, they probably can't deal with that. 11-11, eleven, eleven, they're dead. So, by that point, yes, but I don't know if... I don't think Pogo Hopper's really going to get there. I don't think so. I think it's too much of a long shot, and I would rather just run Kingsbane. Never fatigue that way, and be able to get a few more whacks in there, you know? <laughs> Alright, hey, here's that thing, Necrium Blade, that's the rogue weapon. Three mana, three attack, two durability. Death Rattle, trigger the death rattle of a random friendly minion. So, that seems kind of nice, so Rogue's getting its own little um, play dead, little Terror Scale Stalker-like effect in there. Um, does that make it a good card? No, the only synergy I could really imagine going with this thing would be the Ooze dude that I just mentioned. Yeah, the Blight Nozzle Crawler, which is kind of nice. Maybe you swing in with the weapon. You kill a minion, um, assuming you only have one durability because you trigger this thing. So, you know, you play it on turn three, you attack. Okay. Turn four, you play the crawler. You attack again with this thing. Kill another minion. You get the little 1-1 one, one ooze. You kill another minion. And, okay. That's nice. Outside of that very specific case where you have these two cards in your hand, luckily it curves out, but otherwise it's terrible. I don't think this is good at all. And because of that, and because Sylvanas isn't being run, and, um... Because Sylvanas is in the Hall of Fame right now. Um, if Sylvanas was here, oh my god, this would see play. Absolutely. Even though Sylvanas is legendary, only one of. But, no. I don't like the Necrium Blade. Four mana, Academic Espionage. Shuffle ten cards from your opponent's class into your deck. They cost one. The problem I see with this thing is that it's not... Well, okay. It's not cards from your opponent's deck. It's not steal a third of your opponent's deck. Jeez. It's random cards, and random cards aren't really very good most of the time. You could, perchance, um, get some combo pieces, namely Shutterwalk. You can get like Shutterwalk and Grumble, and some other things going on there. I mean, you can also get Antonitis and our, uh, Sorcerer's Apprentices. That'd be super great. Um, but you could also get some bad cards. You can just get a couple secrets that maybe you're playing with Paladin, they already cost one. So I really don't see this card being super great. Um, they're going to dilute your deck. Maybe you play Gadgets and Auctioneer to try to draw more cards. Maybe you play the Unstable Element to draw the rest of your deck and then try to do something off of these random once-cost cards that are in there. I don't I don't like it. It's a fun deck, maybe. <laughs> I, maybe. I can't even settle on that. I think it's going to be a fun deck to play. Kind of like how Explore and Goro was a fun deck to play. But it's not good at all. Alright, 5 mana Necrium Vial. Trigger a friendly minion's death rattle twice. 5 mana? I don't think it's good on 5 mana. If this was like 1 mana, 2 mana, maybe even 3 mana, I could see it seeing some play. On 5 mana, I think it's too much, and I think that the effects that you're going to trigger are not super worth it. If Tomb Pillager was still in standard, then I could potentially see that seeing play. 5 mana, get 2 coins, you could save them for later for your combos, and even then, you basically reduce the cost by two. Okay, maybe. But, no. In the current standard forta fortation, format or rotation, pick whichever one you like, I don't think it's going to work out. Talking about death rattle things, hey, it's the legendary Myra Rotspring. Five mana, four, two. God, those stats are bad. Battle cry, discover a death rattle minion, also gain a death rattle. So it's worth noting that you do get the death rattle minion to your hand. It's not discovered, you know, choose a death rattle from what you discovered. You you get a card off of it, which is nice. Um, and then you gain its death rattle effect. Well, does that make it worth playing a 5 mana 4 2? Zeril was played, or Zeril, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And he reliably gave you one of a few different potions, and they were all pretty good. You might not get a good death rattle off this thing. You might get something terrible. 
I mean, do you consider getting Sherazen's death rattle good? Kind of, sometimes, but not necessarily. Sherazen wasn't really see seeing too much play, and that had five attack. This thing only has four. So even if it comes back, eh, it's not great. Um, so I do not like Myra Rotspring. I think that the stats are too low, and whatever effect you're going to get off of it just isn't going to be sufficient. And now, what has Myra done? It is her unstable element, the five mana rogue legendary spell. Myra's unstable element. Draw the rest of your deck. This is a hell of a card, let me tell you. I could see this going specifically in some kind of m Miracle Rogue. Hey, Miracle Rogue's back. Empty your hand a bunch. Five mana, you could reliably have somewhat of an empty hand. Do you want to play it earlier or later um, when you have less cards in your deck? I think I'm going to play it a little bit later. Um, it's probably not going to be played turn five, but you get the rest of your deck. Your deck's empty, which mainly is a very good way to trigger either Mechathune, mm, what, what, Mechathune, or Lab Recruiter to fill specific cards into your deck if you want to just draw those cards. You don't really have to worry about fatigue, because um, rogues obviously have ways around that. But regardless, I can see you just playing a bunch of like burn damage things, you know, attacking your opponent's face, and then playing this thing, getting a bunch of more spells for the next turn, and just going Eviscerate, Eviscerate, Leroy, Shadow Step, Leroy, Cold Blood, ah, crazy stuff. I think this card is absolutely insane. Probably should have put it on my top ten list. Didn't do it. Oh well. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it actually for the rogue cards. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, next up, we're going to have the shaman cards. Um, some pretty good ones in there. I'm not gonna lie. Some some a little tasty. Um, but yes. So, thank you again. Um, good night. And depending on what time it is, maybe good morning. But as always, good luck.